Hello everybody, it's BlockDuck, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the Game Maker for the Sandbox. So, the first thing you want to do is log on to the Sandbox website, which I'll put a link to that in the description. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the left hand panel of your screen where it'll say Home, Alpha, Market, Create, Map, and About. Go ahead and click on the create button right here, and we are going to download the game maker. Now, as you can see, the game maker is already popped up right here, and there is a giant download button. So, you can also download the Vox Edit and the Avatar, and I'll be going over how to download those in future videos. So, go ahead and click on this blue download button right here, and you want to click on the Windows, and... As of right now, the Game Maker for the Sandbox is only available for Windows, but it is coming to Mac very soon. And when I say very soon, it could be as soon as November 29th, because that is when the Alpha is getting released. But anyways, go ahead and click on the Windows, and then click on the blue Download Game Maker button. This is going to go ahead and download and install the Game Maker, and it may take a minute because it is a little bit of a large file. As you can see, it has to download 242 megabytes, and it has just a little bit under a minute left. So now that the file is done downloading, we can go ahead and click on this little arrow at the bottom left corner of our screen, and you want to click on the open button at the top. Now whenever you open this file, it is going to pop up as the zip file, and it is going to show this little application right here that says the Sandbox Maker V, and then it'll go ahead and say a version. I'm not going to read all that, but what you want to do now is double click on this. And if that doesn't work, you can also go ahead and right click and then click on the open button and it will go ahead and open up the Sandbox Maker installer. So we'll just go ahead and let it load right here. And right here it is going to ask if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. And go ahead and click on yes. And before you do, just make sure it says the Sandbox Maker because um, that's just going to kind of be the validation right there. So go ahead and click on yes when it prompts you to do so. And now it's going to take you to the um, installing uh, wizard or whatever. So go ahead and click on where it says next right here. And you want to go ahead and continue to click on next. And now you want to click on where it says install. And it is going to install the sandbox maker. And once again, just like when it was downloading, it may take a few moments. But it looks like it is going along at a pretty nice pace right here. So we'll just go ahead and let it finish doing its thing. And there we go. So we're just going to let it finish installing. And once the Sandbox Maker is done installing, you're going to go ahead and click on the Finish button. And as you can see it in the checkbox, it will say Run the Sandbox Maker and also create a desktop shortcut. And I would recommend doing that so that you can easily access the Sandbox Maker. So we are just going to go ahead and click on this Finish button right here. And the Sandbox Game Maker will go ahead and launch for us. And it looks like it's already launching. We just close out of that. And it's going to open up here and just give you like kind of the opening sponsor or whatever. And after that, it's going to go ahead and show this screen right here where you're going to need to enter in your username. And you're also going to need to enter in your password. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quickly. And then once you're done with that, also click on the remember me button if you don't want to have to enter in that information all the time. And click on the login button in order to log into the sandbox. And so once you enter in your username and your password and click log in, it will take you to the Sandbox Game Maker, and it looks like this. So right now I don't have any games created, but you can see the My Drafts, you can also see Templates, and you can look at the Drafts Gallery as well. Now I'm not going to go over how to make a game in this video, but um, this is pretty much all you have to do in order to download and install the Sandbox Game Maker. And then if you ever want to quit the game, you can just click on this Quit Game at the bottom left corner. And then it will ask you if you want to quit and you can click yes or no. But that is pretty much all you have to do. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.